Thank you very much, Chair, for the opportunity. My name is Luanda Lajuayo. I'm one of 20 million waste pickers in the world who collect plastics and recyclable. The International Alliance of Waste Pickers is very encouraged to see just transition and waste pickers included in the submission of so many countries, regional groups, civil societies, organizations, and business groups. There's an incredible momentum around this as people recognize the environmental rights human rights and labor rights go hand in hand. For that to be possible, just transition must be a core obligation in the plastic treaty. In order for a just transition to be truly just, it must address the needs of the most vulnerable workers, first and foremost, especially those in informal and cooperative settings. This means waste pickers must be prioritized. Since the origins of waste, they have always been waste pickers. The treaty must establish a mechanism to ensure a fair, equitable and inclusive transition of waste pickers. This would include integrating us into all systems of collect, sort, transport and add value to recyclables and working with us as a partnership in the designing and implementation to add value to recyclables and working with partners in all levels. It includes establishing fair prices, the environmental services fees, which our organizations are already pioneering in a number of countries. It means improved working conditions, access to materials and infrastructure support, healthcare, social security, as well as legally recognition both in treaty and in our national levels. We must be able to continue our current work in collecting, but also in advance in value change in value chains and decision-making processes as the ILO declares. In the transition to, to a greener economy, there must be a distri uh, distributive justice. To end plastic pollution, we must place justice at the heart of the treaty. Because plastic treaty without waste pickers is rubbish. Thank you very much. I, I, I give the floor.